All right, welcome back, guys. We are going into this water temple. Uh, I emptied the water out. I'm assuming it must have been flooded when I, if I just tried to go in originally. Uh, it looks like the hook shot may be my friend in this dungeon. We'll find out what this place is called. Ooh, Swamp Palace. I need the hook shot. Ooh, sweet. Oh, awesome. I'm pulling switches with the hook shot. That's dope. Very cool, very spooky. Just got a couple extra rupees here. That's great. I love this. It's great. This game encourages you to do so many things that you've never done in Zelda games before, which is awesome. Like falling off and. Whoa, what the heck are you? Fish. I want that rupee! Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I can't get it. Is it like a freaking ice... ice... thing of ice? Wow, look at that. The big key, there's all this, like... stuff. Yeah, here. Porpoise-looking thing. See a switch hidden under that top skull over there. Whoa, oh man. Whoa. Looks like I need this to uh this water to raise ow in order to get that thing. Get me out of here. Uh to go up before I can do anything. Interesting. Although, hold on. This music is great, by the way. Oh my gosh. If there's any secrets over here that I should know about? Nope. As soon as I can't get. This reminds me a lot of the uh, music I did for my friend's game, Matt, Marble Lot. If you guys haven't heard that music, it's the music that constantly is uh, playing uh, a piece of fiction in the background. It was for a game that was very much like Zelda. Little buttholes. No more water. Got a key. This is such a mysterious dungeon. What's going on here? Where are all these entrances and exits? What is this water room? Yeah, the compass. Wow, there's a lot of treasure chests. This place is full up, man. Explore the other side. Get some more keys before I move on. Hey, stop it. I can't really open these treasure chests. Like, I need to elevate to use this room properly. Let's try going back upstairs. There's nothing more fun than figuring out a dungeon for the first time, guys. It's a real joy. That's why I love Zelda games. Hearts. Well, until then, I'm gonna go back over here, open up this door, and see where this leads. No one likes you, black squid. You're poopy. Ooh, switch the water up and raise the level up. Dope. Alright. 
I'm guessing if I step in it, yeah, you washed away. Cool. Ah, I burst through. water. Yes. Fill it up. Oh, cool. It's a beautifully designed dungeon. We'll go for a ride. Whee! That's fun. One more to fill it all up. That progression going. Whee! Right, these little water slides are pretty fun. Man, I, this music so good. Oh, boss time. Ooh, you're a big fatty, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Ah! Stop it. No one likes you when you're like that. You can probably split into a bunch more, aren't you? Oh my gosh, look how small you are. Ah! Oh no, come on. There we go. Is that it? I did it. I'm the fanciest boy in town. Whoa! That rose out of the ground. That was intense. That button. Yeah, establish that pathway. Wait, I can do item switch on the fly now. Oh no. Eesh. Come back. Hey. Hiya. I don't know if I want to drop into that quite yet. I'm gonna see what's on this other side. Pushing that button, dude. Nothing. Ah! I guess both of them just kind of disappear into the nether. Alright, well, down I go! Don't have a key, though. God darn it. Dead gummit. side then. And away we go. Also to a locked door. Oh, I didn't see this though. What secrets lie over here? Come on. Hiya. Ah. Uh. Really? Is that a different level than me? Hmm. Just money. I don't need money. I need a way to beat this dungeon. I want to get all these chests too, man. Something that uses this. Uh... Something that uses this hot item switch business. Too bad I can't pick that. Ah, I could glitch it for a second. Let's see here. This is 
confusing. Oh. I can just do that? Hmm. Hmm, game. I see how it is. Game, alright. Alright. Well, in that case, I will unlock one door. We're going over here. That was far easier than I expected it would be. I don't know, I didn't think of that earlier. In fact, I actually just did that out of just sheer, like, luck. Oh, that must be saying how high the water is. The water is two-thirds full. Dude, they're just straight up giving me a water temple right now. They don't even care. Yeah. Freaking sea porpoise. Oh, I see. I can pull it up or down. Whoa, max water. I don't know if that changes anything downstairs. Don't think it does. All the water is just higher. Unless I can move this thing around. Aha! Trickery. Yes. Yes. It's kind of janky, but I don't really mind it too much. Get out of the way. God dang it, you wasted all my magic. There we go. <laughs> yes. Aha! That was it? Just monster guts? Oh man. Alright, whatever. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't too angry about them monster guts. But that's how you get all the chests in that area, I guess. <laughs> Still not high enough. Interesting. There's a whole another level of waterness that I haven't been able to reach yet. Oh, I pull on the left and right. Okay. I get it. I think I get it. Time to lower this water down, though. All the way down. No. Nope. Oh no, Link. Can you get out of here? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Keep lowering it down, son. Not low enough. Oh, it is lowest. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's go over here. Uh oh. Boss time? Oh my gosh. Come on, bro. Ugh. Ow. Do it, Link. Do it, do it, do it. Ah! Scary. Come on, come on, come on! Oof, that was a close one. Not a big fan of the uh, thing with the laser eye. In fact, one might say, not a fan at all. Yeah, there. Hey. Who said you could hurt me that much? Who said that? Not I. Oh, 
Oh, I can merge onto it. Sweet. That was cool. It's like I hit the thing so hard. That's awesome. Yeah, let's raise this water level up. One bit. One more for this chest. What's in here? A key. Just what I needed. A lot of locked doors in this place. Too many locked doors in this place. This is great though because this isn't like infuriating like the water temple. Because I feel like you always have the chance to move things around, you know what I mean? Like this thing. Oh my gosh. Right, I wonder if the ice thing will actually work here. Oh, it did! Cool. I'm sure I could have done something else with it too. But... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's see, I wonder if there's anywhere else I can even go right now. Or if that was just sort of the only thing at that level. Interesting. I'm gonna try going over here. Oh, I can swim into the other rooms. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, get that out of here. Give me all the treasure chests. Yes. Making me feel much better about life, by the way. Look, just look at all the keys I have right now. I'm just keying out. My like key and peel. Another key? Nope. Monster guts. Let's see. Oh, no, I can't get up here. Alright. Oh, oh. This dungeon is great so far. I'm really, I'm really digging it. All these little intricacies and stuff. This is great. Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't. No, I want to go to the other room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dive link. Like, go down. There's actually a big chest in here? What is this? What could this possibly be? <gasps> Blue mail! This, wow, that's an intensely good item to get. <laughs> you know what's great too? You could be in this dungeon and never picked up that item. Yeah, Zelda. Always remaining as challenging as you'd like it to be. But, on the upside, Link now looks totally baller. Because he's got blue mail. And the blue tunic inside of the blue dungeon, the swamp palace. For being a swamp, it's kind of blue. It's not very, uh, it's not very green. That's the color I associate with swamp. Come on. Come on, Nintendo. Is this really that dangerous? Not much of a boss, guys. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, ooh, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, I see. That's nice. That was the, I couldn't have gotten off otherwise. I can see where it was supposed to be hard. Wait, did I miss it? Whoa. into that wall. Go, Link-san. 
Um, do I want to raise it up one more? I don't know why I just did that. Is there a reason I, I did that? No, I don't know why I did that. That was very unnecessary. It needs to go down. It needs to go down too. Oh, that's why I need to hit that button. Hey, get out of my way. God darn it. You ugly mutt. What? He hurt me on his way down? That was silly. Alright, now let's go up. Like I got most everything. It appears I missed one room though below me. And I can't go back down, so I guess I'll never know why. I'll never know what was in that room. Wait. Can I just. Oh, interesting. It just points up or down, I realize. The, uh, they don't have any of the hookshot things that point left or right, especially when you need to go left or right. Interessante. Oh wait, actually, no, I'm not the right level for that. Oh, man, we're almost there, guys. We have almost made it. I if I could dive into the next room. You can't. Skadoosh. Whoa! Awesome, and now I have master control of the water, too. You know what? Before we go fight this boss, I'm gonna try and get that... See what's in that last room I didn't make it into. So I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as ever. Hey, ow, that hurt. Stop it. You guys are being mean. Let's find out what is in that room. It intrigues me greatly. Oh, I should just—I could have just walked right into it. Fairies. Good thing I came in here. That would have been bad if I didn't have any sort of protection going into a boss battle. Because guys, I'm not the best at this game. I mean, uh, I like having fun, but I also like getting careless. Getting careless is one of the most fun parts about Zelda. For me, just sort of messing around, you know. Yeah. That was great. What a great, great dungeon. It used the mechanics that the uh, Water Temple did way back in the day in Locker of Time, but without being anywhere near as aggravating or hard. Uh, it definitely had challenge, though, which I appreciated. But here we go, guys. Boss fight time. Ooh, I'm in water. It's an eyeball. Oh, it's this guy! Alright, this is a... This is another boss that you fought in the past before. Uh, you basically need to use the hook shot. Ooh. Take his eyeballs out. Whoa. Destroy his low defenses. Now his eye pops open. Oh, I don't have any magic. Whoa, he looks insane. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my gosh, he's firing blasts at me. Whoa, 
this is intense. Ah, stop getting squashed, Link. Come on, there you go. Well, that wasn't too tough. I just sort of had to follow him around for a bit. Ah, the truth of the matter is, games aren't... The, the, the Mario and Zelda games aren't... They're not necessarily hard anymore. The difficulty level has gone way down over all the years. It doesn't make them any less enjoyable, in my opinion. The game doesn't necessarily need to be hard to be good, you know what I mean? But, uh... Hey, it's the Zora Princess. The games have definitely gotten a little easier. Wahoo! Come on out. Dude, it's like the realm of the sages right now. Once more, you've come to my rescue, Link. How I wish I could again reward you with a gift, something that would calm the troubled waters of your journey. I can offer you only my deepest gratitude, and yet another task, I'm afraid. What about a sweet item? You must rescue every one of the seven sages. Only together can we help you defeat this great evil. All right. Can we talk? I will be glad to eternally to be eternally in your debt, if only we all survive this flood of evil. Please now, rescue every one of the seven sages, my young hero. I hope that this evil will be defeated so I can return to my people. They must be frantic without their queen. Nice job, Link. Ooh, just got 8-bitted out there. Yo, I want that queen to talk to me. Hey. Alright, well that's a great place to end this episode, guys. Thank you for watching Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. That is one out of seven dungeons. And then uh, we're gonna make our way to the next one and uh, see how far we can get next time on this gameplay series. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Hope you're having a great time. I'll see you soon.